as I'm cooking and I'm plating and I'm feeling each single ingredients I'm working with, at that moment, the only thing I care about is the guests because when the dish reaches the guest table, I want that dish to represent Serene. I want that dish to represent Senegalese cuisine. I was born in uh, New York City. By the age of five years old, my parents took me to Senegal, West Africa. And I was there for about nine to 10 years. Senegal was where I spent most of my childhood. I developed love for cooking at a very young age. When I came to New York City, i um, been working in a restaurant, watching dishes. By the age of 17, 18, I was a cook. I had a chance to work for Italian, Mediterranean, Cuban, uh, Japanese, French cuisine, and now I'm here at New Orleans working for one of the best restaurants in the South, which is Commander's Palace. And being at Commander's Palace is making me a better cook because I'm challenging myself every day because it's one of the most busiest restaurants out there. At the same time, it's busy and then you have to be perfect every single time. New Orleans and Senegal have very similar roots. So a lot of stuff that we eat in Senegal, you can also find in New Orleans, which is pretty interesting because when our grandfathers, what I like to call it, was brought from Senegal to the United States, New Orleans was the first place they arrived in. The ingredients, the way lifestyle of how people live here, the music, the ambiance, the food, the spice, it just, it just takes me to Senegal, you know, it just really reminds me of Senegal. It just, it almost kind of makes me feel like I'm home. Currently, what I like to do right now is, on my days off, I do pop-up dinner as much as I can. So basically, cook Senegalese cuisine influenced by Creole. Doing this pop-up dinner will allow me to give people that live in New Orleans an opportunity to experience a different culture. And not to mention, all the ingredients that I'm using are very local. And you can find any supermarket you go to in New Orleans. But the whole point is how you prepare it. So me doing this pop-up dinner will give people a different way of eating, you know, at the same time. And I feel like as a cook, um, the power we have is very powerful because we have the power to control what the other person eats. Now, as you work in a restaurant, you don't have much saying of changing anything on the menu. But when I do pop dinners, I'm free. Everything I learned from the past, I gather Creole, Italian, and uh, French cuisine, all the cuisine I learned from the past, and combine them. and still making Senegalese cuisine, but influenced by the different cuisine that I learned over the years. We really appreciate you all coming out and supporting this event where we're showcasing this chef in the back named Serene. And I believe his talent for his culinary ability is something that's special. What he could do with cooking and preparing and plating meals, he has the potential to be one of the amazing chefs in this country. Thank you so much for coming. I truly appreciate it. And, um, and, I'm going to give you everything I have, so I hope you guys enjoy it. Shireen is very passionate. And um, throughout my life, I feel like my level of passion for the things that I'm excited about has been off-putting to other people. And so when I meet someone like Shireen who is so passionate, it's really intoxicating because I feel like I've found another brother. You know, when I have a friend like Shireen, I'm going to want to learn as much as I can about them and help them as much as possible. This food that he's making, is, is very healthy, it won't weigh you down, and I think it's, it's, they're gonna be uh, really excited about it, and they're gonna kinda see a future in it. From a Senegalese perspective, the food will be different. Also, from a New Orleans perspective, the food will also be different. Uh, every time I cook, every time I play, I always try to send out that message, and I always trying to make people have a better day, because as you cook, and you have the power to change people's day from good to bad, from bad to great, and that's, that, that's, that's very powerful is not possible without a strong team. So I really want to thank these guys so much because as much as fast as, no matter how fast I was moving, if I didn't have their help, I would not be, I, you guys would not got the food as fast as I wanted to. And I really want to thank them for that, you know? I really want to thank them. Hopefully someday I could pay you guys, man. So just, <laughs> but for the meanwhile, I'll pray for you guys. You know? Believe me when I tell you, him being here, is an unbelievable intervention. <laughs> I think Serene will have an incredible impact here in New Orleans. We have all become a society um, and, and a culture of wanting to not only know what we're eating, but the history of what we're eating, where it comes from, uh, why we're eating it. It's certainly my desire and hope that Serene stays in New Orleans because I think it helps bridge his country back to us 
in a very positive way. I believe that the more people hear about him uh, and get to taste his food, um, he'll find a home here. Senegalese cuisine needs to be heard. There's an article that passed recently that West Africa is one of the most healthy people around the world, and I feel like majority of it have to do with how we eat. And here in, in America, we eat a lot of dairy, a lot of gluten, and a lot of sugar, a lot of carbs. Doing a pop-up give me a chance to change people's thought when it comes to food. <laughs>